Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the click and hold gesture using the actions class. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned to automate the double click. And in this particular tutorial, we will try to handle the click and hold gesture using the actions class. For that, let me open this website first. Let me copy this URL from here, go to the browser and paste this URL here and here you see that we have a different boxes here. If I single click on this one, it will say click on div one. But if I click and keep, you know, pressing the button without re releasing it, this means if I click and hold, then it will say tab hold on div one. So this is a functionality which we need to automate. Okay, now let's go to Eclipse here. Let me create a new class. Go to here class and click and hold. Like this main method check, click finish. Let me copy some basic code of lines from here and paste it here first thing we need to do is that we need to change the url and we need to place this url here okay now before we can actually you know click and hold the element we need to identify the element for that let's go to the browser here right click on this one go to inspect and here go to selectors hub and we see that it has an ID. Okay. So copy this ID from here. That's one. And let me go here and driver dot find element by dot ID. And we need to provide the ID here and this one. Okay. So let me save it into the web element. Web element. Let me name it as click, click and hold. And let's import web element here. Now we need to use actions class. So actions act equals to new actions. And here we need to pass the driver so let me copy from here and we need to pass the driver here and we need to import this package here now once we are done with that now it's really simple we can call the methods of action class so act dot and here you will see that we have click and hold let me use this one here and we need to pass this web element here right and then we need to build and then we need to perform it now we are ready and we are good to go with this one and let me run this one here and see what happens so it should click and hold and we will get the message that let's see what yeah tab hold on div one so if i go back to the script here and if i simply let me comment this one and what what if i do act dot click right so what happens or or in other words let's suppose if i even if let me Comment this one, comment this one, and even this one. Let me copy this one from here and paste it here and just click on this one to see what happens. So, what it will do now, we will get the message of click, not click and hold. So, let's run this and see what happens. 
so tab and hold right now you can see that it says click on div one so that's how actually you can work with click and hold using the actions class thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial